so you don't know about the dinosaur that turns everything it eats into eggs? Well then maybe it's time for you two! No, you're Amiibo! Yoshi is one of the many characters who have come to existence in the Mario world and have since become their own franchise. Starting as simply a power-up, Yoshi has starred in a number of games, both new adventures and spin-offs alike. Believe it or not, Yoshi was slated to be in the original Super Mario Bros. Shigeru Miyamoto intended to put Yoshi in the game as a rideable dinosaur for Mario in the game, but it was too complex to implement. It took until the Super Nintendo for Yoshi to make his gameplay debut in Super Mario World. His actual design can be attributed to Shige Fumihino, who designed all of the characters in Super Mario World. Super Mario World takes place in Dinosaur Island, where the Yoshis reside, but Bowser and his Koopalings have taken over and kidnapped not only Princess Peach, but Yoshi and his friends as well. Mario starts the game at Yoshi's house, but he quickly finds Yoshi trapped in an egg. As a mountable ally, Yoshi can eat just about any enemy or fruit with his long tongue, and in some cases, he can spit back shells or fire to attack other enemies. He also makes a good stepping stone for an extra jump. Don't lie, you've done it before, you monster. Yoshi had grown a small following since his debut, and he starred in a couple of spin-offs shortly thereafter. Yoshi and Yoshi's Cookie showed Yoshi in different puzzle game environments, and Yoshi's Safari puts you in Mario's point of view as you ride Yoshi while using the Super Scout. While these spin-offs were intriguing, the next game starring Yoshi would be the start of something bigger, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Shigeru Miyamoto made Yoshi's Island as a way to truly establish Yoshi's character. It also gave us a look at Mario and Luigi's origin story. In Yoshi's Island, Baby Mario and Luigi are intercepted mid-delivery by Kamek to prevent the birth of heroes, only for Mario to land among a group of Yoshis, who will decide to go on an adventure to help Baby Mario save his brother. Yoshi's Island establishes the major elements of a Yoshi game, including the eating of enemies to turn into eggs, which can then be thrown. Yoshis can flutter kick to stay longer in the air, and they have many switches and items the Yoshis can use to progress through the adventure and thwart Kamek and his young brat of a king. The game's beautiful graphics and unique gameplay design won over critics and fans alike, and Yoshi fully became his own star franchise. As the Super Nintendo shifted to the Nintendo 64, Yoshi had a final release on the Super Nintendo, but it wasn't really his game. Tetris Attack is a block puzzle game where Yoshi saves his friends by switching blocks and creating combos with them, but the game is actually a revision of the Japanese-only release Panel de Pon, where Lipstick originates. Not the first time Nintendo has changed a puzzle game for the US, you know what I'm saying, Kirby's Avalanche? Yoshi's second major adventure came in the form of the cuddly, cute, and cavity-inducing Yoshi's story. In it, the world is turned into a storybook, and a group of baby Yoshis work together to save the super happy tree and get happier along the way. I'm not making this up! Take this straight jacket off of me! The game's mechanics change to emphasize eating fruit rather than completing the level linearly, which puts more emphasis on exploration despite being a side-scroller. It is this game and Yoshi's Island which have built the groundwork on how Yoshi is shown in the Super Smash Bros. series. Since then, Yoshi reverted back to being a helpful power-up for Mario console games. Yoshis are helpers in Super Mario Sunshine, capable of shooting juice and being great at jumps. However, they dissolve in water instantly. In New Super Mario Bros. Wii and U, Yoshis are present as helpful friends akin to Super Mario World, except that they stay in the level that they're found in. And finally, Yoshis appear in Super Mario Galaxy 2, complete with high-speed and flotation power-ups. Most of Yoshis' mainline games shifted to handhelds, Developer Artoon created Yoshi Topsy Turvy, putting Yoshi in a storybook once more, complete with tilt controls. When Nintendo brought up the Nintendo DS, Yoshi played a major role in Super Mario 64 DS. He acts as the starting character and is capable of using other characters' hats to transform. Nintendo later brought Yoshi into an arcade adventure with Yoshi Touch and Go, but soon enough a true sequel to Yoshi's Island would arise. The Artoon developed Yoshi's Island DS is the first official sequel to Yoshi's Island, and in it, Yoshis work together to save all the babies in the Mushroom Kingdom. This time, however, Mario is but one of multiple babies, each with their own abilities. I never knew Yoshis were so connected to Wario and Donkey Kong, too. Yoshi stepped back a moment as the Nintendo 3DS came out, but he would come back with another Yoshi's Island adventure, Yoshi's New Island, developed by Arzest Corporation. This adventure is a direct sequel to Yoshi's Island, and many of the same elements are present, but there's a few new ones as well, including Mega Egg Dozers and Tilt-Based Transformations. Needless to say, Yoshi has quite a few adventures under his saddle. Costumes! I don't think we need to discuss too much about these Yoshi colors. Most of them came about from Yoshi's Island and Yoshi's Story, but let's note a couple. Red, Dark Blue, and Yellow Yoshis all debuted in Super Mario World as special variants of Yoshi. These special variants react the same way no matter what they eat. Red always shoots fireballs, Dark Blue always grows wings, and Yellow always causes earthquakes. 
Purple Yoshi is a special Yoshi, which was introduced in Yoshi's Island and is seen in Yoshi's story, but is actually never playable. No, collecting all coins doesn't work. Don't be fooled by the internet. Black Yoshi is a special unlockable Yoshi in Yoshi's story. Players must find its egg in Chapter 2, and it can eat any fruit, even peppers and black Shy Guys, with no problem. I should also mention that its eggs are ultra explosive. Don't think I want any of those omelets. Move set. Most of Yoshi's moveset can be related to his mainline titles, which haven't changed too far in the last decade. Notably, his second jump is special in that it is his Flutter Kick, which has been seen since Yoshi's Island. Too bad he doesn't have much upward movement with his actual special. Standard Special, Egg Lay. Yoshi has always had a big appetite, but turning his opponents into eggs is something developed from Yoshi's Island and has been a staple ever since. Up Special, Egg Throw. Much like Egg Lay, throwing eggs is something Yoshi has developed as an ability in Yoshi's Island. I mean, that's mentioned in the first level's name. Unfortunately, Yoshi doesn't exactly move upward too much with this move, so make those flutter kicks matter. Side Special, Egg Roll. This is a Smash original, in which Yoshi rolls himself in an egg and rolls around the stage to do damage. Just don't go crazy in one direction! Down Special, Yoshi Bomb. Yoshi does not explode, despite its name implication. That's rather a disappointment, really. Instead, he spins in the air and launches downward to the ground, stomping on anything below. This was an established move from Yoshi's Island and has been in ever since. Final Smash, Super Dragon. Wait, isn't Yoshi a dinosaur? Possibly, but in his final smash, Yoshi grows wings and becomes Super Dragon Yoshi for at least a little while. In Super Mario World, Super Dragon Yoshi occurs when eating a Rainbow Koopa shell, providing all three power-ups seen with red, blue, and yellow shells at once. However, the power goes away after Yoshi spits out the flames, but in Super Smash Bros., Yoshi has quite a lot of fire to let out. Future Yoshi's immediate future is well known. In March, Yoshi took part in Mario Party 10, and we can be sure that he'll be in plenty of Mario spin-offs going forward. Yoshi is also close to making his return to console adventures with Goodfeel's Yoshi's Woolly World. In fact, there's even a stage for it in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Yoshi's Woolly World will also come with its own set of adorable Yarn Yoshi amiibo. And do I see Super Dragon Yoshi making an appearance? As for future Yoshi adventures, we'll have to see how Woolly World does, but I have a feeling Yoshi will come back one way or another. And with that, I think it's safe to say you now know your amiibo! Thank you for watching this episode of Know Your Amiibo! My favorite Yoshi game is Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. What's yours? If you want to learn more about another amiibo on this wave, simply click on it now. If you can't, don't worry, more videos are on the way. Otherwise, if you want to see another wave, check the links on the right. If you want to keep up with this series for other Nintendo goodness, check out Nintendo World Report TV. And if you want to see what other crazy stuff we have made, check out Third Rate Minion. Thank you.